Hi boys and girls, today we're going to be drawing leaves. And you can see I went for a little leaf walk here, found some different kinds of leaves. I found quite a few maple leaves. You can tell they're my favorite because I picked up so many. Um, I found a couple of these. They're kind of, it's kind of late in the season for this one, but, but I wanted you to look at it. And these are oak leaves, two different kinds of oak trees. Okay, not sure what this is. It could be linden, it could be a birch, not sure. But we're going to be drawing two leaves today. So I'm going to have you fold your paper in half. Okay, we are going to draw a stem right down the middle of each one of these. I'm actually going to draw mine at an angle just because I like to do it at an angle. So there's an angle and an angle. I suppose you could do it straight if you wanted to. Um, these are going to be my two leaves. And I'm going to focus on my, my favorite one, maple, for starters. Uh, maples have three really long points and two shorter points down here. And then each of the long ones has kind of like a curved line that comes down and makes two little points. We're going to focus on these three points and those two short points to start with. Okay, so we're going to make a giant letter V here. So looking at this one, I'm going to make the letter V right here. So you're going to, it doesn't have to be quite as tall as that. But you're going to do this, come down to your line with a diagonal and then back up. Like I'm making the letter V. Okay, and then these kind of go slightly down, but I, you can go straight out, make it about half as long as that. So straight out or down a little bit even. I'm going to do it straight out just because it's easier for me. Okay, now each one of the tips, we're going to do almost like a little arrow here. So I'm going to go like this up to the point and down. So I'm making this little curved line to make the arrow. I'm going to do it here too, and I'm going to do it here. Now, be careful, you don't want these to be too close to each other because we're going to make a letter U coming down in between each one of these. So to make this, to make this line right here, we're going to make like a, almost like a V or a U, um, and it's going to be curved right here, okay? But I got to get the last two arrows here and here, okay? Now, I'm going to take and do, like I said, that letter U, but don't go too close to your line and don't go too far down in because this, we want to have some space in here. So make the letter U, and also we're going to cut these out so you don't want to make it too hard for yourself. So there's the letter U, here's the letter U, and then I'm going to turn it. Now this one, it would be the letter U, but one's really short and one's really long, so it's actually going to be more like a letter J or a backwards J. So I'm going to go down... And I'm just going to connect. I'll do the same thing here. I'm going to go down until I get kind of closer, and then I'm going to connect. So I'm almost like I'm making a backwards letter J. Do you see that right there? And then this one, we're just going to bring it straight back to the center. Boom. Boom. So that one just comes back and connects right here in the center. Now this is a little thin for a stem, so I'm going to make it a little bit thicker because we're going to cut these out. We do not want it to be that thin, okay? So make it thick enough that when you cut it out, you won't have trouble. All right, now we're going to move into our other one. And this one is, it, I could do the oak leaf. I do love the oak leaf, but we're going to do this shape of a leaf, okay? And this one has lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of lines here. It's also got a zigzag pattern here. So what we're going to do is we're going to start up here and we're going to do little letter V and then a little bit bigger letter V and a little bit bigger letter V and a little bit bigger. And I'm going to start doing them the same. I don't want to get bigger. I want it to just kind of come straight down. So I'm going to do about the same, the same, the same. And now I'm going to get smaller. So I'm going to do it just a slightly smaller, slightly smaller, smaller, and I'm going to stop right there. Now to make my zigzag pattern, I'm going to think about this as the point, and I'm going to do almost like, um, if you look at this as zigzag, I don't know if you can see this, because this one has kind of sharp points in there. Mm, yeah, I think we're just going to go zigzagging. So start at, start here just below your last V and come out and go zigzag, zigzag. Don't put so many in that you can't cut it out. 
okay you're going to be cutting each one of these zigzags so if you do too many um, it might be really hard to cut out but it's going to look really cool when we do our um, chalk all right now i need the stem to be wider so i'm just going to go around the outside like this and i'm ready to start cutting now one simple way to cut this out is to just start by cutting around it like this you can even cut right next to the tips and then all you'll have to do if you if you're just touching the tips with your scissors like this then you'll just need to go back in and cut those little those little v's out and i'll show you how i do that now i probably didn't go close enough over here i'm going to actually go right along the line here and then just touch the tips with my scissors all right now the easy way to get rid of this is just to once you've done that take your scissors and do a couple little snips go snip snip and it'll fall out of there just snip snip i might have to stick down a little bit more but just snip it around until you get a nice and if you if they don't completely come out just pull them out this is going to make a really cool outline a silhouette we're going to use chalk and make silhouettes with these um, using analogous colors which is our our color word that we want to learn about today Okay, all those scraps go in the garbage, and we are ready to create our chalk silhouettes. Hopefully we've had a chance to talk about analogous colors. Um, if we run out of time today, which we might, be sure your name and class code are on the back of each of your leaves, and they are in your table folder.